Hi there, Maria here with a project of making my own homemade journals. I'm using Strathmore watercolor paper, 120 pound. As you can see, it's very stable and it would hold a lot of wet, wet media. So what I did here is I'm just uh, starting to wipe some paint all over uh, the page to make a background. So that people can uh, customize their own pages after they have kind of start with the background. So making this uh, with the idea of giving it to somebody to make their own embellishments. So I'm using uh, some sort of painter's tool here that makes patterns in the paint. It's pretty nice. It actually kind of looks like trees. And then I decided to use uh, stencil in the corner. So I am using a stenciling brush and I wipe uh, down the paint really well into the uh, top of the brush to make sure I have enough paint, but not too thick. If it's thick, it might go under the stencil and make a mess. A little bit trial and error. I'm going to paint the back too, but that's going to be when it's dry. And here I'm just uh, doing another page to show you. It is some green paint. And I decided to um, just dilute that really well to get it a light, lighter green. I use a baby wipe for all of this uh, spreading uh, the paint because it's so easy to spread it evenly the way you like it. And then I'm using some same baby wipe. I wad it up uh, like a uh, kind of messy and uh, with like a pattern. And then I stamp some paint on the page like people do on their house or walls sometimes, but I don't have the right tool. So this is just kind of winging it with what I have. And I wasn't all too pleased with it, but uh, it is what it is. And I put in a little bit of orange just to break it up. And I decided to put some yellow and it makes it kind of like a um, forest uh, picture. And I'm staying away from uh, most of the edges and the middle as much as possible. So when it's folded up, it will uh, it will not be in the way. Here's a pink uh, surface and I got some green paint that I'm diluting a lot. So it's almost like uh, water. I'm just diluting it with water. And then I'm splashing it around. The brush is pretty soft, so I picked out a horsehair brush that is stiff and I can get much better effect using that. So you can see it there, you can use as many colors as you want to splatter, but I just used green. Here I glued on a, a pocket and you can see I have painted both sides of the pages here. There's uh, some stamped um, and I, I drizzled some paint and stamps and stencils and everything is waterproof so that uh, if people put water on it, it's not going to start bleeding. So that had some really nice effects. And then I'm folding this page and it's very important to get the uh, corners completely even. So I'm using a paper clip. Two clips are better, one in each corner. And then I fold the page. That way the page will not slip uh, if you have a clip on there. And then to flatten it really well, I use a bone folder. You can use something with a with an edge that is um, unyielding and strong. 
you want to flatten that out as much as you can. And then I try to decide which pages go together. So you have to think that the that the words are not turned upside down and the other embellishments can look like they're in the right place. So that's a concern. I, and then which colors go best together. So I was trying to figure that out here. Then I was going to do it, and then the pocket would have been in the wrong place. So I wasn't too pleased with the combination, so I changed it. You have all the colors. And now I'm, I'm just leafing through to make sure everything is in the correct position. And here I have four paper clips. And I'm going to sew the sew them together with some uh, embroidery floss. You can use linen thread or uh, um, other string, something that is strong and holds it together. I don't have anything, so I chose embroidery thread. I'm going to use three different colors and a darning needle with a big hole so it's easy to and that is an awl, a ruler, and a pencil to make the measure the holes. Here's a little journal I made from a, um, a veggie burger box. I just uh, cut out the cardboard, made all these uh, signatures, they're called, that are sewed together. There are four of them. And I used a lot of uh, decorative papers, as you can see. People can still um, add to that. And, and add and uh, get a lot of different um, textures going with that. And I had a big uh, wooden button as a closure. It looks complicated, but it's very simple to make, actually. So here I am uh, taking each of the papers and uh, folding them using two paper clips and then using the bone folder. You could use an old credit card or something with a stiff uh, edge that is strong if you don't have a bone folder. It's not bone, it's plastic. I don't know where that name came from. And here you can see that they, I, have, I make sure all the edges at the top were fitted together. I'm going to measure uh, and get the holes pretty much in four even spaces. So I'm using a ruler and a pencil. It doesn't have to be 100% exact, but uh, you won't never see the holes, but of course, the more even, the better. So that's the inside, the very inside sheet of paper. And here are the other ones. And I'm putting them together, making sure the edges are completely even. And then I put a paper clip at the top. And again, press into the corner and make sure everything is very even. And here I'm going to use the awl to make. Uh, you can use a nail and a hammer if you don't have an awl or a very uh, strong uh, needle. So I'm using a, a mat to protect my table. And there it comes. So I'm going from both sides just to make the hole big enough. So here I've made all the four holes and I have 
string. I have uh, three strands of embroidery floss. You go in through the second hole, leave a big tail hanging on the outside, and then you go up uh, the middle hole there, or you go down and then you go up the next hole. The point is to get a, a line like where you have floss on both sides evenly. So there's no gaps in the line of, of embroidery floss. And here I'm going under the, the next stitch here, but I made an error. So you want to make, make that really tight. Make sure you pull the strings very tight. And then I can take the clips off. And it's um, and then I decided to braid the floss like you would do hair, and that's kind of a cool finish. Not a very long string. I don't want it to be in the way of uh, using the book later. Some people like to put beads and charms and uh, little doodads at the end just for fun. I didn't have anything like that, so I'm just tying a knot here. And then I had used way too much floss, but oh well. And then I have a little tassel at the end there. And here you can see the flip through. It's very sturdy. I mean, it's ready to use, so it's, it's lots of fun. And I'll write a little note, stick in the pocket. Okay, thanks for watching. Now go make your own, okay?